Hello and welcome to this short introduction to identity management. My name is Mark Morgan Davies from Ignition Technology and this morning I'd like to talk about some of the challenges that we face in the enterprise when it comes to managing identities. So first off, what is an identity? Well an identity is all of the accounts and permissions that you use on a daily basis to do your jobs. And these might be in Active Directory, Office 365, applications like Salesforce or QuickBooks. And in a typical enterprise, you might have over 30 other applications as well. Now these user accounts and all of the permissions associated with them, these make up your digital footprint, which is your identity. These identities need to be managed, they need to be secured, and we need to make sure that they're being used the way that they were designed to be used. Now you might ask, why can't I manage these identities manually? Why do I need a specific identity management tool? Well, let's take a look at what that manual management process might look like. So if we get a new user in the organization, this is Joe, he's gonna come and join your company. The first point of contact is normally an HR database. That might be a spreadsheet and it might be a dedicated application. Now, if we were doing this process manually, what would happen is that HR would generally send an email to your IT department. And then somebody in the IT department is gonna go and have to log on to all of these applications and manually create all of the user accounts and assign those user permissions. That person is generally somebody from your IT help desk and we are, in this case, relying on that person to know exactly what permissions within each of these applications this new user uses. The problem with that is that your help desk often doesn't have all of this information, or the information is incomplete, or it is incorrect. So what do they do? They end up copying the permissions from a similar user. So if we take, for example, this user has joined the sales department, the IT guy is gonna look at someone in the sales department and then go and create all of the permissions and all of the group memberships within Active Directory for somebody in sales, give them access to those mailboxes, and give them access to those sales records. Now that may be correct for this user, but this user may have different responsibilities within your organization, and those permissions might not be correct for that user. If that is the case, often what happens is when our new user starts on his first day, he doesn't have the correct levels of access to be able to do his job. So we end up losing money and wasting time. And the net result is we have a very unhappy user. So how can we do this differently? We can take this whole process and we can automate it. And we can use products like SailPoint or Okta to automate the entire lifecycle management process. Lifecycle management, what is the lifecycle management process? This is commonly referred to as the joiner, mover, and lever process within the organization. The joiner it kind of speaks for itself. So when we get a new user who joins the company, we need to go and set up his initial application access and all of his permissions. And with a product like SailPoint and Okta, we can automate that entire process. Now, when we talk about the mover process, let's say that our new user who's been there for several months moves roles to the finance department. We need to now go and change the permissions and the levels of access that he has within these applications. So we need to change the groups, we need to change the mailboxes, we may need to remove the records, and we may need to provision more access to a different application. If this is done manually, more often what happens than not is that we don't remove the permissions that are no longer needed. And our user ends up with an aggregate of both the sales and the finance roles. Now this is a risk to our organization because we've over-provisioned access. This user has too much permission to too much data. And if someone was to compromise his identity, then that person who has got those credentials now has access to a lot more information than we would have liked. And it increases our risk profile. Similarly, we have the lever process. When our user leaves the company, 
we want to be able to go and automate the process of removing all of his access. Now, if we've done that process manually, often what happens is it's not done in a timely fashion. Some of the access remains, and we end up with a person who no longer works with our organization, who still has access to all of our sensitive data. However, if we use one of these products like Cellpoint and Okta, we can automate all of this process. We can automate the join and move lever process, which is commonly known as lifecycle management. And we can make sure that everything here is done in a timely fashion and it's done correctly. So what are some of the other things that these products do? If you consider our new user here, he's been given access to over 30 applications. Each of these applications has different user accounts and passwords. That's a lot of information to remember when he's trying to access all of these applications. So how can we improve his user experience and how can we improve the security of our organization? Well, what we can do is we can provision a single sign-on dashboard that gives him access to all of these applications, but using a single username and password. And we can then secure that further by encompassing that all in multi-factor authentication. And Okta will provide both of these functions for us. Now it's human nature uh, to occasionally forget your username and password. So how can we alleviate that additional pressure on our help desk? How can we help the user to have a better experience when resetting his username and password? Well, with products like SailPoint and Okta, we can enable self-service password management. So now when the user has locked himself out or he's forgotten his password, he can simply go to the mobile application for Cellpoint or Okta or to the web browser and he can self-service that password reset and get back into his system that way. So within our organizations, we also have other identities which need managing and these have special requirements because these identities have privileged access. So they have elevated permissions within our systems. So for example, we might have lots of databases or application servers and many others. And these make up our production environment. And again, we have identities here and these have elevated permissions. And in much the same way, we need to be able to secure these identities. We need to be able to manage them. We need to be able to monitor them and also to be able to audit all of the activity that's taking place using those. So our normal user with his normal identity might also have access to one of these privileged identities. And with products like Beyond Trust, Password Safe, we can successfully secure these identities. We can manage them, we can maintain them and we can audit and monitor all of the activity that takes place with those privileged accounts. And this is often re referred to as privileged access management. Now there is another kind of privileged access management. If we consider the laptops and the endpoints that our users use, they often also have an identity that gives them local admin rights. And again, these we want to secure. But how can we do that? Well, we need a specific tool to do this. And again, Beyond Trust, Endpoint Privilege Management gives us the capability of securing all of these accounts on our endpoints that have elevated permissions. Now, there are a couple of other use cases that we want to consider when we're looking at privileged account management. One of those might be the fact that we have third parties and they need access to our production environment. Again, we don't want to give them direct access. We don't know who the users are who are going to be doing that. So we'll do this through a proxy. And again, this is a Beyond Trust product called Privileged Remote Access. Now with Privileged Remote Access, we can successfully secure all of the accounts. We can monitor them and we can see all of the activity that's taking place. We can record that activity and we can audit it and then report on it. And then finally, we might have our support teams down here. And they need access to all of our endpoints to support these endpoints in our environment. These endpoints might be distributed globally, so they could be all over the world. Um, and we want to be able to provide support with an easy way to access these endpoints 
to be able to help our users whenever they encounter any difficulties. And we can do this using Beyond Trust Remote Support. This is a VPN-less architecture, and it provides a full session to the endpoint uh, that the user can see, that the support engineer can see, um, and it can be recorded, it can be audited, it can be monitored, and we can provide control. Uh, and the beauty of providing the control in this fashion is that we may be able to outsource that support to different company, but as the owner of that endpoint, we can still see all of this activity. So now that we've got all of these tools deployed, and we're happy that we've got control of all of our identities, the privileged ones and the user identities, and we know that everything is secure and it's managed and maintained, we need to be able to provide visibility into our organization. We need to be able to provide the auditors with the ability to see that we have provisioned the right levels of access to the right people at the right time. And in order to do that, we can again use something like SailPoint and provide our auditors with that level of visibility. SailPoint has certification features and separation of duty policies that we can use to ensure that the right people have the right access to the right data at the right time. And we can use SailPoint and give that to the auditors so that we can prove that all of our access is correct. So SailPoint provides us all this visibility into our organization and provides us the ability to provide governance within our organization. So that's one of the tools that SailPoint is, is one of the features that is unique to SailPoint is the ability to provide governance within our organization. So that's a brief introductory to um, the identity management tools that we offer at uh, Ignition Technology. And if there's anything that you'd like to see or uh, demo or to have a bit more detail about, then please get in touch.